It did. Have, have you heard any responses <laughs> from your friends, ex-friends, and family? Well, I, I think my family bought out the first, like, eight days worth of, of uh, shows. So uh, uh, the general public, I'm not sure, has had a chance to see it yet. Um, but, uh, but no, I mean, it's all been very, very positive, And I think people who, who live in Clovis really, really think it's funny. And uh, I, I, I hope they, they realize it's, it's the, you know, the, the whole setting of Clover is a wink. It's not a, it's not a point. Um, but, uh, but we'll see. I love it. Now, I'm curious, because in the film, there's a great line that you have in the beginning, which is, uh, don't try to find the ideas, let the ideas find you. And I would love to know when the first germ of an idea for Struck by Lightning came to you. It, it came to me like, one of the reasons why it's called Struck by Lightning is because the whole story just hit, really hit me like lightning. And I was a sophomore at Clovis East High School, and I was walking um, from uh, one of the English classrooms to the to my car and uh, I had just finished my own literary magazine. I felt so underappreciated and, and no one cared and I thought, why am I doing this if I'm only you know, pleasing myself? Um, and then the whole idea of the movie came to me. Because um, I, I look up at the sky and it's really cloudy and I thought, wow, if I was struck by lightning right now, what would happen? What would, you know, what would the story be? And then it just, it just hit me. So how much of you is in Carson? Uh, not as much as people want. I mean, I mean uh, <laughs> it, uh, it's um, it's definitely not my autobiography because I'm I'm alive and well. Um, but uh, I, he he definitely was the person that I, I wish I was in high school. Um, and uh, he uh, uh, I, I kind of used him as as a, a therapeutic way to, to vent my frustrations and angst in high school. But we're we're different people. Absolutely. So from that point where you were struck by lightning yourself, in theory, metaphorically, uh, how long was it until you had a locked script? Oh, well, I was like 16 at the time, and I, I just kind of uh, played around with it like on Microsoft Word. I didn't really have like a, a fancy screenwriting program yet. Uh, and then um, I, I'd say season one of Glee, yeah, uh, is when was when I sat down and at a computer and, and, and got it all out. And it took me, I'd say, about six months to go to the point of, okay, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to do this to the point where I sent it to, to someone to look at. Um, compare it for me, if you could, to the process of writing a book, i.e. Land of Stories. Like, which one is more challenging? Ooh, I, I think, I don't know. I, I think novel writing is definitely more challenging because uh, you don't have tools to help you along the way. Like, like with the screenplay, you get a director and an amazing cast, God willing, um, that help you tell the story. Uh, so you don't have to do all the work. But when you're doing a novel, you have to do all the work. You have to... Describe every eyebrow flick, um, every every you know, every blush, every everything, every change of, of, of wind when the leaves change, and you know, <laughs> you, have, you have zero help. Speaking of amazing cast, you certainly had one here. I mean, Christina Hendricks, Allison Janney. I mean, the list goes on and on. How involved in the casting process were you? As involved as I could be, because I was on the Glee tour across uh, across the world. I, I was the O2. Um, in London, and I would sit at my computer, and I would uh, I I'd do meetings uh, via Skype, like at uh, six o'clock in the morning, which was like I don't know, like 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 seven in the afternoon here or or, or, or something. Um, and uh, yeah, but but the casting was the easiest part because uh, uh, once like we got the, the the green light for this movie, it just it, it, people just, just signed up. It, it wasn't it wasn't a challenge at all. I'm curious. When I was watching the film the first time, I was struck by how similar. Young Carson looks to you, and <laughs> but this isn't the first time we've seen that actor playing a young version of you. Um, he, um, his name is Adam Colkin, and he played uh, young Kurt in Glee uh, for the Grilled Cheeses episode. Um, so yeah, it, like it was creepy then. It was it's creepy. We're struck by lightning. It's, it's creepy now. But the funny thing is now, and now his his like his voice is ten times deeper than mine, and he's like two feet taller than me. So I'll be playing a, uh, a, a younger version of him soon. I'm curious, you know, this was obviously an interesting project for you because you had written it and you were starring in it. Was it difficult at any point to sort of turn off your writer brain while you were acting? Um, yes and yes and yes, yes and no. Um, uh, like, 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 I think sometimes I would almost be overzealous at the fact that I was the writer as well because I would flub a line as an actor and then the script supervisor would come over and say, Chris, you got the, the line wrong, and I'd say, no, I rewrote it. So that was that was that was nice, but uh, but no, I mean it really wasn't. I don't think either really ever interfered. Um, uh, yeah, no, so it wasn't wasn't too bad. But you had to have that moment because you had obviously worked on this script for a long time. The first day on set, where you just sat back and you said, "Okay, 
all of these people are here to make the movie that I thought of in my brain. Yeah. My fault. Everyone is here, right? <laughs> no, definitely. It was it was crazy, and it was really crazy because Allison Janney was the only actress I ever ever had in my mind to, to play the role of Cheryl. So you know, you, you imagine that the, 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 literally the only thing that that was different from from really like her performance in the film, the performance that was that had always been in my mind since I was sixteen was. Was she just had shorter hair in my mind because she was on the West Wing at the time? Oh. So, so I just ha imagine her having a different haircut. That's it. That's it. Like, like the line. It, 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 it's insane. I, I feel like it almost like just kind of printed from my mind and, and went onto the screen. As a cool sort of byproduct of Struck by Lightning, Carson Phillips' journal was released, which I would imagine has to provide a unique opportunity because whenever I interview authors who then write screenplays or vice versa. They say it sort of gives them a chance to fix things they got wrong the first time or include things. Was there anything you got to put in the journal you wished it had been in the film? Well, it, it's interesting because, uh, unfortunately, because because this was a very, very low-budget movie and um, and the, a lot of things had to be cut and, and re reworded and changed and, and whatnot. Um, so a lot of what was in the original screenplay didn't never make it to... Um, <laughs> never made... Uh, um, uh, the, um, oh. Speaking of low budget, <laughs> why don't you try this one? Because no one cares what I have to we say. Don't. Oh. <laughs> we, we didn't have. We, we can't. We couldn't afford proper microphones. Um, uh, uh, so, so there. I think there are a lot of um, things I, I, I did try to fix because there, there are a lot of like little tiny holes here and there within the screen, within the movie that we, we just we had no choice. We just didn't have a we didn't have the proper means to to, to tell everything that, that, that we wanted to tell. Um, so I, I, I think I kind of tried to, to fix things within the novel, yeah, definitely. So are you going to make it a, a rule in your contract now that every screenplay you write has to have a novel companion? So you can <laughs> well, I, I'm one person. I, <laughs> um, and I mean, it was great because it gave me a chance to, to visit the characters again. So that's, that's why I, 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 I wanted to do it, because I, I wasn't really ready to say goodbye to the characters yet. Um, uh, but um, I don't know if I could do it for every, every movie that, 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 I, that I would be in, but we'll see. I mean, you say you're one person, but I feel like the evidence proves the contrary. Yes. I don't understand how you accomplish half the things you accomplish. I know that in addition to promoting this film, working on Glee, you are also writing Land of Stories 2, and an additional screenplay that you've been talking a little bit about lately. Uh, where are you sort of with all the other projects you have going on? Uh, Land of Stories 2, I'm writing now. Um, <laughs> I'm so happy you like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, does anyone care about this? Am I just this weird actor writing this book about kids going to the fairy tale world? Um, but um, so, so hopefully, knock on wood, I'll be finished with with the book, but with the second novel um, by the end of this month, um, and then hopefully it'll be out in, in your hands sooner. Uh, uh, but, uh, um, uh, and uh, the the next movie that that, that I wrote that, that that we're getting trying to get made. Uh, I finished a long time ago, so, it, but it was never something that I, I felt I, I needed to do because I, I could literally be 30 years old and, and still do it. Uh, I didn't have to be a certain age like, like with this movie. Um, but uh, things are looking really promising, so um, unlike this microphone. Thing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, but, 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 um, yes, that, that, that one's done. That one's in the can. Before I turn it over to you guys, so formulate some questions. <laughs> Uh, I'm curious if Land of Stories were to be made into a film, which role you'd want to play? Yeah. Ooh. 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 That's what I'm. Ah, snaps for I, you. I'm so happy as like the, just the guy who wrote it. I don't. I don't. That's one thing I don't feel I, I need to be a part of. Uh, um, I, I think I would. With that also, I think I'd be so hands on with bringing it to, to life that that there would be time. But. Um, Oh gosh, I don't know. Maybe if I had to, um, maybe like I don't know, Froggy. <laughs> don't get your hopes up, please. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I could. I don't know. In reality, it's for you walking in the background of one. <laughs> right, right. Or I could be or on Fairy Cancel or something. Yes. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna turn this over to you, 